welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my 34 and 35th week uh, pregnancy update. Um, there's a lot in the past two weeks that happened. So pretty excited. First, I want to say sorry for my face as usual. I'm extremely tired. And as you can see, my pregnancy doesn't really help. But... So week 34, uh, my, as you can see, my acne came back really bad, really bad, and, and it's terrible, but, you know, hormones and stuff really can't do anything about it. Another thing that you might be noticing is how weird I talk. Um, my nose is like so stuffed and I, like I'm not sick or anything, I don't have a cold. I don't have anything but my nose is yeah I can't do real I can't do anything about it like one day it's this side one day it's that side and yeah it's just like stuffed and I don't know I can't really do anything about it also I have to pee like every minute that is something that is really uncomfortable like I go pee TMI sorry uh, but I go pee and then I have to go like right away after. But I don't really have to pee. I just have the feeling that I have to pee. Really not cool. Also, I have been having trouble uh, with my feet and hands. They are starting to swell a lot. You might be noticing with my ring. But um, yeah, a lot of swelling. Uh because of the water I, anyways it's normal obviously uh, and obviously I have a lot of heat waves even if it's starting to get cold so a lot of you so a lot of heat waves as you may see my skin is glowing I'm extremely hot um, warm and yeah that can cause the swelling also so really not fun also some swelling uh some not some swelling but i do have when i wake up in the middle of the night and i have the baddest leg cramps honestly not cool i just i don't know like some like my nerve just like went out really bad and it's not cool it's the worst feeling ever and yeah, but it, at least it doesn't happen every night, just now and then, but still. Another thing that is really TMI, sorry, but if you're watching a pregnancy update, obviously. But uh, another TMI is I have a lot of vaginal discharge still. Uh, I think I have extremely a lot, but my doctor says it's pretty normal when it's a second child. So anyways, it's really just annoying. Like... And as you can see, I'm out of breath all the time, as usual. Yeah. So the exciting part, uh, she started to be, uh, she grew a lot. She, I feel her now close to my ribs, so that's cool. So that means she's growing and taking more place. Um, also, I uh, since this week, uh, no, since week 34, I am having. Braxton Hicks all the time like I can walk like just for two minutes and I'll have my stomach is gonna tighten up and I, I have like I could say five six even seven Braxton Hicks contractions a day I know they don't mean anything but it's still fun to know that my uterus is starting to contract so that's pretty cool and exciting also the last thing for week 34 is my cravings i've been craving like always a lot of water and this week i have um not this week last week because i'm on week 35 but uh week 34 uh i've been craving barbecue doritos and that is weird because i do not like doritos chips usually usually so that's a craving for me so now week 35 um so this week uh 
there's a lot of exciting stuff more than the other week um, but like the normal stuff I would say is uh, between the week 31 uh, between week 34 and 35 I gained one pound so I'm pretty proud of that I started to have a lot of back pain and um, like the sides ankle not ankles anyways back pains um i started to have those a lot but obviously because of the weight and stuff pretty normal i have been extremely extremely emotional and tired uh but obviously both go together if i don't sleep i'm gonna be way more emotional and stuff like that but this week it's terrible and i am not patient like at all it's really really annoying because usually i'm a very patient person like extremely patient and now i'm not so i'm pretty uh i'm getting anxious not anxious because of the birth but anxious because i really want to give birth because i just hate myself not being patient especially with elliot so yeah, it's really getting annoying. So, exciting stuff. This week is my last week of work, so that's pretty awesome. I'm excited because I'm really sick of tired uh, of working. I just want to be off and rest the more than I like m more and just get try to get my energy back before she comes. So, I'm still having a lot of Bracton Hicks contractions this week. Uh, it's every day. I have at least one uh, like two or three every day That's pretty awesome and something is excited that I did not experience with Elliot's pregnancy is that I did have some real contractions a few days ago um, not extremely painful, but they were painful and I'm sorry and it, they were in my back. I Don't know um, if you guys maybe experienced it if you have any kids or if you're pregnant but having contractions in your back is the worst I prefer having them in the front on my, in my belly and stuff having them back is not the best but it's still exciting I was ha still happy I don't know why I was happy to have contractions but um, it's just telling me that work is starting to get uh, how can I say that like it's starting to get closer and closer so got me pretty excited also something that is cute but really annoying is that since like last week if I could say she started had the hiccups all the time she has the hiccups like four to five times a day mostly when I eat um, like after I'm done eating or when I sleep yeah so that's pretty annoying but it's still cute at the same time because you like know she has the, hic the hiccups so that's pretty cool. last but not least I wanted to talk about my appointment that I had this week pretty exciting news um, so yeah I went to a normal uh, checkup uh, she che the doctor checked my uh, uterus height it was great her heartbeat was 155 beats per minute well that's good and she checked if I was dilated or a face um, unfortunately I'm not a face uh, my oh, I just know the words in French but like it's I'm not a face at all but I'm three centimeters dilated guys like what the hell and I know we can I can still give birth like at 40 weeks and stay at three centimeters. I know that. So don't comment that down below. But it was exciting just because with Elliot I did not efface or dilate like before 40 weeks. Like at all. I started way after that. So being three centimeters dilated is pretty excited exciting for me but yeah so that's my checkup but everything goes fine we'll see uh, in two weeks I have another appointment so we'll see if I like I effaced or something but I was super happy to hear that I was three centimeters dilated I don't know why but 
I'll show you guys my bump. I'm so out of breath, guys. Like, honestly. But yeah, I'll show you guys my bump. Don't mind, I'm in my PJs. But that's baby girl. I said I'd have the stretch marks on the sides here too. That those are new ones here, but I don't mind. She's getting huge and she's like way up here. But yeah, so that's my update for those two weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not. And yeah, so hope you have a great day or a great night. See you in my next video. Bye, guys.